431. And we're to determine Vx here, Vx is this voltage using source transformation, source transformation here. So where do we want to start? I think we can start by transforming these two sources and remember that our Vs equals Is times R where our voltage source here is 2Vx. It's actually a de dependent, dependent voltage source. And that is going to be equal to Is times 6. So Is comes out to be uh, Vx divided by 3. Now let's draw this circuit. We have our 30 volts on this side. And then we have our 3 and we have eight coming down. And then we also will add in our source transformation. And our current source is now Vx divided by three. And this is six, and this is eight, and this is three. Now since these are in parallel, eight ohms and 6 ohms are in parallel we can combine those two resistors and we have 8 times 6 divided by 8 plus 6 so that is 48 divided by uh, 14 what does that come out to be um, 24 over 7, 24 divided by 7 ohms. So we'll continue on and redraw the circuit. We have 30 volts, and then we have 3, and then we'll have the equivalent resistance here, which is 24 divided by 7, and we still have our current source, Vx, divided by 3. And this is 3 ohms. And we're still looking for the voltage across this resistor. Using source transformation again, let's transform these. And uh, so we have Vs equals Is times R. So, um, we have Is equals Vx divided by 3, and then R is 24 divided by 7. So we get um, Vs is then 24 divided by 21. Uh, let's see. Eight sevenths. So that is eight divided by seven Vx. And so what we end up here with a circuit, we have our 30 volts and then three. And we have our other resistor and then we have our voltage source here, which is 8 over 7 Vx, and this resistor is 24 divided by 7, divided by 7, and this is 3. Okay. Well, we are still looking for our voltage Vx across this resistor. Now, since we have we can say that this is zero volts down here. We have here is 30 volts. And here we have 8 sevenths Vx. 8 sevenths times Vx. Okay, that's our voltage at this point. We can use our voltage divider, our voltage divider, the voltage Vx is going to be equal to 
this resistance, 3, divided by the total resistance, 3 plus 24 divided by 7, times the voltage from this point to this point. So that is 30 volts minus 8 over 7 Vx. And this is a voltage divider. So let's see if we can work this out. Right, so this is 7 fifteenths times 30 minus 8 over 7 Vx equals Vx. Okay, so 7 divided by 15 times 30, that's 14. So Vx equals 14 minus 7 divided by 15 times 8 divided by 7. That is 8 fifteenths Vx. All right, so one plus answer So 23 fifteenths Vx equals 14. And that means our Vx comes out to be 210 over 23 volts, which is also equal to uh, looks like 9.13 volts. And that is our answer using source transformation for this problem.